basic forearm casting techniques. Um, the casts are a little bit different from the splints. This is a circumferential immobilization. Um, it, the layers are a little bit different. The first layer that we use on a cast is actually a base layer of what we call stockinette. The web roll uh, cotton layer goes on top of that, and then the final roll is a fiberglass glass roll. So you can just slide the stockinette on like a sock. You want to leave a nice big thumb hole so that the patient doesn't hate you. And slide that thumb up in there. Again, nice big thumb hole. You want to make sure that your metacarpal pharyngeal junction right here is movable and not too small so that they have pretty good motion of their thumb. One of the big mistakes is actually making the thumb hole much, much too small. So you have your base layer stockinette on. Um, at the ends of the cast, you want to leave what we call a cuff, which is where you leave the layers of web roll a little bit thicker than the rest. So I usually make this about four to five layers thick. Come around the thumb a few times. Sometimes poke a hole right in the middle. So I get a good anchor right there. There we go. I didn't leave any holes this time. And again, um, this the layers of padding in a cast, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, if you are trying to put a cast on after you've done a reduction, you want to keep this layer very thin, no more than about two layers thick. Um, that way the, plast the fiberglass has a better chance of holding the reduction. If you're doing a cast uh, more for comfort, you can leave these layers three to four layers thick just to make it a little bit more comfortable for the patient. Now a lot of times in the office we'll do a white uh, base layer first just to make this a little thicker. This is going to be a pretty thin cast. I'm just going to go ahead and start with a nice green right here. I, kinda, I like to anchor it at the wrist. Come up and around the fingers. Keep your scissors handy. Cut a slit for the thumb. Fold that back. Come around the thumb a few times. Working time of this. Oh, fiberglass also has a shelf life. Um, don't open the fiberglass until you are ready to use it. Um, it. It can sit out for about five minutes before the glue hardens. Um, otherwise, leave it sealed until you're ready to use it. I'm going to leave that hanging right there. Don't touch, okay, don't I, touch. I you know better. I'll stick my finger All right. It's not my first time getting fiberglass out of here. All right. Kind of roll these ends back. Make sure you leave yourself a nice about centimeter layer cuff of tissue so that this doesn't rub. Fiberglass is actually fairly sharp when it dries. Let's see if I can make it back to the hand. Nope. It's okay. You would use a second layer to seal down the web roll on, or to seal the stockinette on top. And there you go. Make it look better. Do a nice little mold there. And there's your short arm cast. It'll be set in about five minutes. Again, depending on water temperature. The, warmer, mean, yeah. the warmer the water, the faster it's going to harden. The faster harm. it sets. If you're slow at putting a cast on, use cold water. If you're fast at putting a cast on, you can use warmer water, never hot. Get a little bit of a mold there. Get the glue to seal a little bit. And there's your basic forearm, short arm cast.